Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor in Paradise, a guy's review. How's everyone doing this early Wednesday morning? Good to see all of you out there. We're going to do some recapping of Bachelor in Paradise. As you guys know, if you don't, uh, I recap the show, take notes, respond to all that. No edits, no jump cuts, just me, you guys, and our morning cup of coffee. And shout out, of course, to this amazing merch shirt. Let me tell you something, guys. Someone sent this into me. Let me tell you something. We got a lot to talk about here. We'll get into it. Disgruntled females recap. Where do we begin? Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram at dneals. I got a brand new clip up on my Instagram page with some stand-up comedy. And you will like it. All right. Here we go. We open with the rose ceremony. A lot of, uh, like I said, disgruntled female. Just one at a time. As Titus says, new women, new drama. Or as Brennan would say, new female, new drama. <laughs> A lot of discussion over the, the term women versus female. We'll get into that in a separate video. Uh, lots to talk about today, so stick around after this one. We're just going to try to stick uh, and focus to the recap. We have an apology sort of statement thing from just uh, from uh, uh, Piper and a lot of other things going on. I'm expecting an apology video possibly from Brendan later today, so we'll get into that later. But for right now, just what we saw on the screen. Jasenia tells Titus she feels robbed of her time because of Alana showing up. Titus says, if you already have a relationship before coming here, I hope they learned their lesson. Then a close-up shot of Brendan. Yikes. Of course, the, uh, the people were up in arms as to why Brendan stayed longer than Alana. But of course, we knew that there would be a day of reckoning and this would be it. This is the type of line reading by Titus that makes me wonder how deep the producers are involved in the Brendan Piper story. Come on, look. Titus is a good actor, of course. But it's a line read. You guys know what line read means? It means the producers say, here, say something about um, if people show up and they were already in a relationship and then the, and then the camera guy, all right, uh, cut to Brendan, uh, close up on Brendan. Like it's all the producers are, are sculpting a storyline. The question is, were they in on it from the beginning or did they see this all play out and then decide to make the storyline? We'll never know. Natasha shares the Brendan receipts. Um, she starts uh, basically telling the other people what she had already found out through her own discovery uh, as she uh, did her detective work. She tells the, the Joe and Demi that they hung out twice. Piper says it was 10 times. Joe and Demi are getting upset. Joe shows up to have a chat with Brendan and Piper, calling them out for having a set-up relationship. Brendan says, Piper and I have gone to dinner two or three times. Okay, now we're getting into semantics. You know, Brendan's like, look, I only finished twice. We only <laughs> you know what I mean? Brendan says he never asked Piper to be his girlfriend, and we get to watch her just sit there. He's like, yeah, this piece of trash right here, I don't know anything about her. She's like, it's got a point. It's got a point. Brendan says, I never promised Natasha we would be anything more than we were, and he immediately gets called out by everyone being like, dude, come on. Doesn't, doesn't mean just because you didn't promise her anything doesn't mean, you, you know. So uh, whatever, whatever sort of things were going through Brendan's head that he thought would justify it, None of it worked. None of it landed with everyone. Everyone was like, no, no, no. Brennan admits that he saw Piper the day before they left. Brennan's defense is that he, by going to Bachelor in Paradise, he's able to spend more time with Piper. Piper says she didn't know there was a rule book on how to do Bachelor in Paradise, and this is an opportunity to focus on their relationship. But as we know, you don't bring the relationship to the beach. You try to leave the beach with a relationship or some form of HPV. Both are possible on the beach. Natasha says it's okay for Brendan to feel this way for Piper, but not at Natasha's expense. It's like, look, like somebody by all means, but not after robbing me of my time. Time is the most valuable resource we have. So do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe, and that way I can spend more time making content. Marissa says... Okay, so here's where it gets, it was already bad. It's already contentious. Brendan's clearly upset, you know, and then Marissa's, and he's like, I got I'm, I'm getting out of this, in, in this, this environment. And then Marissa says, are you leaving paradise? Boy, Brendan goes, it doesn't concern you in any way. That's so, that's so New England. I'm a New England guy. It's so New England. And it, I'm, I don't mean that in a good way. It's just like, he goes, it doesn't concern you. All right. What I do is none of your business. All right. You do you and I'm going to do me. That's how you know a fight's over when someone says, I'm going to do me. You do you. And he didn't say that, but he kind of felt that. Brennan calls Joe a pathetic attempt to intimidate him. Uh, so Brennan feels like he's being intimidated off the beach. Brennan says Joe has a mob of disgruntled females. 
which by the way, after hearing this term, my audience loved it so much. All the live streamers were loving it so much that we decided to just make merch for it. This is the disgruntled female a tank top that you can get. And there's actually a whole bunch of things there. If you want to go in the comment section, we've already sold a dozen of these disgruntled female. There's hoodies, there's aprons. Hey, look, I don't make them. I don't set the price, but it's on my merch store when you, uh, you know, do YouTube and get a certain size following. They let you have a merch store. So if anyone wants a disgruntled tea, which could be nice, you know what I mean? If you're ever mad at your husband, you could just be like, "I'm, honey, I'm putting on my disgruntled female shirt and you can talk to me when I'm done being disgruntled. Own the word, ladies. Take it back. Okay, anyway, that's a shameless promo. But I don't really make much money off this. You make a few bucks off a sale. It's not like I'm, I, I'm not at home with a printing press sending these to you guys, okay? Piper says she has a master's degree in marketing. So if she wanted more followers, she could get them. And then Bachelor Nation's like, actually, we could unfollow you and see if you get a refund on your education. Uh, don't tempt them, Piper. They'll do it. <laughs> Brendan's like, yeah, 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 they will. <laughs> of course, Piper's, you know, we'll, and we'll share Bachelor Data's info on the updates, but Brendan's lost like 40% of his followers. Piper's lost 10%. So there's a disparity there between the anger that people have felt towards what Brendan did versus Piper as an accomplice. Uh, Joe says that they can't kick Brendan and Piper off the beach, but they can try and run them out, which of course is what they did to Alana and Chris. Uh, Demi says if they have any dignity left, they will head out the door. <laughs> Demi, you too, folks. You too, Demi. Uh, dignity. Demi, you know, De Demi doesn't start with dignity. Brendan and that's for a different story. Looking at you, Kenny. She's trying to use her body to keep you. Brendan and Piper decide to leave decides him and Piper will leave on their own terms. So that's kind of interesting. They were like, look, we don't want to be voted out. We got called out. I, I always like it when there can be some sort of resolution. Like they kind of left all heated. I just would have loved if they were like, you know what? We're going to walk to the end of the beach and back. And in one hour, we'll say our goodbyes to you. But it's just always nice to do it at least on some sort of term that feels, any, even if they don't air it, it, but like to leave angry, it's like when you leave a fight angry, it's like, let's come to some sort of resolution. I'm just so resolution based. Maybe it's because I grew up in a lot of chaos, uh, you know, that I just, it just, it's just, it's nice. It's nice when everyone can just feel, that's why we love the reunion episodes. We love when people can like patch things up and move along. Brendan says he didn't intentionally want to mislead anyone. He just withheld information. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. You got blown in the Oval Office, Bill. What are you talking about? You know, don't th throw semantics by me. Well says it's not in the spirit of Bachelor in Paradise and that the only rule is not being in a relationship. Meanwhile, and again, I agree, Wells, but meanwhile, you have producers holding on to Dr. Joe till uh, Brendan leaves so then they can bring him to Natasha because they know that Dr. Joe's best friend. Everything that they do, the producers is contrived and it's made to cause pain so they can make more money because they're going to get more views. So w when it comes to the spirit of Bachelor in Paradise, I would put that spirit to rest because it's going to haunt you. All right, here we go. Let's move it along, folks. Meanwhile, Riley and Marissa enjoy some whipped cream a la mode. Riley never got his chocolate cake, as we know. RIP to that chocolate cake in the fire, creme de la gâteau. Uh, if you like a little French there, creme. Or no, it'd be a gâteau brûlée, I believe. That's a uh, um, uh, torched cake. But he's clearly enjoying his sweet tooth here. James is watching from afar. They're licking toes. No body part went unnoticed. Wells called it disgusting. Hey, to each their own. This this is the couple that eat cow tongue that can handle a little toe whipped cream. I have to say though, you got to be careful if you're lactose intolerant. The last thing you want to be doing is sucking down a you know a uh, a full canister of whipped cream and then get into the boom boom room and you got a Dutch oven happening. You don't want a Dutch oven happening after that. Uh, that that it's one thing to lick some toes. It's another to um, you know have some. Uh, Post uh, post uh, whipped cream flatulence, James. Okay, so yeah, James. Uh, it's funny when you when you do see all the other contestants watching, like they're at a zoo. They're like, "Whoa, what's this kinky stuff they got going on?" We got a phone call from I believe was it Kim in Dallas? I could be wrong. Maybe someone else. If you watch last night's live streams, it was off the rail. So many great calls, and we had a fun dance party. It was tons of fun. If you need a pick me up, watch the late night live stream. It was weird. It was fun. I don't regret it. Um, but uh, someone was like, "Hey." I've never licked someone's toes, but I've had my toes licked. And let me tell you something, not too shabby. To each their own is what I say. Marissa says if Riley doesn't give her a rose, she's going to sue him, which, by the way, I know she was kidding. But can we get some bachelor court? I would love to be the sheriff 
in bachelor court or maybe like a deputy, whatever. I'd love to be, you know, all right, your honor, coming to the stage, we have Brendan who feels like uh, he was uh, set up, you know, whatever the case may be. It would be nice if you could take people to bachelor court. Oh, uh, but but what do I what do I know? Everyone sings happy birthday to Tammy. Tammy says she won't ask Thomas about his date with Becca and calls Thomas her best friend. Thomas is like, last night I had feelings for someone else and I didn't feel guilty about it. She's like, I didn't ask. I told you not to tell me, but thank you. Uh, Thomas says he thinks he has better chances with Becca over Tammy. He says, uh, she says, I trusted you with everything and now I feel like a fool. Tammy says last year she got COVID on her birthday, but this is 10 times worse. Um, <laughs> I guess it's all about uh, perspective, right? Yeah, you know, you hurt the heart. That could be worse than, uh, I don't know, losing your lungs. What do I know? Hearts, lungs. It's all, it's all, you know, life, life organs. Rose ceremony. Wells says Natasha had an opportunity of love torn away from her. Wells offers Natasha a second shot at love. She's sobbing. What a nice gesture. No roses for Demi, Tammy, Jasenia, and Deandra. No roses for Demi, Tammy, Jasenia, and Deandra. Uh, which is, uh, you know, they literally voted off like half the, you know, diversity in, in, on the beach right there. You know what I mean? It's like... <sighs> what can you do? I, I, not my votes, folks. I mean, the little John shows up and lightens the mood. Noah yells, "Yeah!" Of course, little John's thing is, "Yeah!" You know, bro. No, you don't do the "Yeah" in front of little John. Oh my gosh, what are you thinking? From the beaches to the bar, you do "Yeah" from afar. Okay, you don't do it up in front of him. That's his thing. Especially your little white guy. He's, he's like, wait, little John's like, I'll slap you, man. That's my thing. I come in and say, yeah, you don't do yeah. That's my thing. Riley is working out on the beach and the ladies are objectifying him to hell. Someone goes, he looks like an action figure. Listen, my goal weight is someone saying I look like an action figure and it's not the blob. Okay, that's my goal mate. I don't want to be stretch man or the magnificent dad bod. I just want to be a chiseled action figure like Riley. Blake shows up from Claire season checking notes. I go, okay, Blake from Claire. We already have Blake. I, already, I know a Blake from Claire season. This isn't it. Who's Blake from Claire season? And I'm like, I don't think... Damn, they might have the wrong typo there. Sure enough, she, he was on uh, Claire's season. Uh, Good-looking guy, tattoos. Tia's losing her mind. Tia doesn't mind not knowing who it was. She's like, I don't know the guy, where he comes from. I don't know, maybe he's part of the crew. Is he a sound guy? I don't know who he is, but if he gives me a rose, we're going to go boom booms. Um, he decides to take Tia on a date. James, of course, was like canoodling with Tia. So James calls this an intro to heartbreak every week, which is a great way to start. So, <laughs> Welcome to an intro to heartbreak every week. James goes, it's all good. He goes, it's all good. Yeah, tell your face. It sucks. I get it. It sucks. He goes, it's all good. Not a big deal. Yeah, sure. So my mom left me at a mall as a kid, and I've been searching for companionship ever since. And now I go on a beach, fall for someone, open up, and then she leaves me for uh, the crew guy. <laughs> it's all good. Becca says, Blake surprised her. You're hot and have a brain in your head. The bar is set so low. You're attractive and have a brain. I'll bang you. Boy, I'll tell you what, though. Their chemistry is immediate. Immediate chemistry. Mari and Kenny building their relationship. They decide to play patty cake on the bed, as Mari calls it, of course. Maybe maybe it was more than patty cake. We don't know. How does the song go? Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as slow and sensually as you can. Because if you bake it too very fast, then I'm going to leave you for someone else. Uh, make her come. Dr. Joe shows up. Says he was on Claire and Tasha's season and was rejected by both of them. Good opening line. Of course, Natasha says he has a very calming energy. Yeah, that's because he's an anesthesiologist, okay? His literal job is to make people calm down until they're in a, uh, you know, medical-induced coma. Is that how it works? I don't know. I have a master's degree in marketing. I'm kidding. I don't. It's just a bachelor's, University of Rhode Island. The crew is yelling for Joe to make a move on Natasha. The beach is really high school all over again. He's he's with Natasha like, do it. Do, you, you can do it. Remember that? Rob Schneider, one of my favorite comedic actors. You can do it all night long. Uh, what's that from? What's that from? What's the movie there? Waterboy, right? Waterboy? Everybody wants Natasha to have her heart mended by Dr. Joe. You know, her heart mended... Her body bended. 
the whole nine yards. Make it happen. Is this one extra sexual? Well, you know, it's Bachelor in Paradise. Don't come at me and go, Dave, you're being dirty. The show's about bumping Harrisons on a beach. It's about spiking coconuts, lancing your bass, slinging your spade, caressing your burgess, and hitting your bong on your little John. It's all about uh, doing that. All right, we've come very far. Uh, and so has Marissa. <laughs> With a little help with whipped cream. Natasha fills... Dog. Boy, what if your kink was whipped cream? I mean, it's like, oh, honey, do you got the whipped cream? It's like, you really... I got to go to 7-Eleven to... Me. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Natasha fills 7-Eleven inches. Uh, Natasha fills Dr. Joe in on the Brendan situation. Dr. Joe is friends with Brendan. Natasha says Brendan nearly ruined this experience for her. Dr. Joe goes, my, my Brendan? My Brendan did that to you? Uh, very sad. Now, Dr. Joe says Brendan is a very close friend. He was shocked. Natasha asks if Dr. Joe knew they were dating. He says, I didn't know they were dating, dating. Uh, whenever you have to repeat the thing that someone asks, were you cheating? Well, I wasn't cheating, cheating. <laughs> Did you steal all the whipped cream? Not all of the whipped whipped cream. Okay. Natasha says it all changed after she told him she could see the conflict on his face. People were getting mad at Dr. Joe, Joe about this, and I'll make a future video about it, but it's like Dr. Joe didn't get to see what went down. He shows up to the beach. The producers are like, all right, Dr. Joe, go go meet Natasha. That'll be good. And then immediately Natasha's like, your best friend ripped out my heart, and Dr. Joe's like, Great. This is how Bachelor in Paradise goes, isn't it? He's like, you know what? I'll go back to working in a COVID ward for the next 10 years, okay? <laughs> That's more fun than this. Because um, like Tammy said, COVID was worse. COVID stuck, but this is worse. Wells asks, I think we're heating up. Wells asks Serena what she would do if Joe says, I love you. Joe and Serena canoodle on the beach and Kendall watches. Because that's what you do. You watch your ex... You know, canoodle on a beach, give each other the old screaming seagull, the old chicken cutlet. If you don't know what those are, use your imagination. Ivan tries to make a move on Kendall, and she's like, um, read the beach. Not the time. Tons of fun. Ivan's like, but I thought you would have, you know, that's such a guy trying to be a f fixer. Guys like to fix things, right? So he sees Kendall just obsessing over her ex, and he's like, why don't I start making out with you? Why don't we do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, a lot of disgruntled females here. That's not my term. I'm using it lightly. But if you do want to take the power back, you can go buy one of these shirts. Of course, they come in a whole bunch. I think they even have stickers there. So if you want a sticker, you can get a sticker or whatever you want. There's uh, all the products there. Look at that. Tank top, this, that, sticker. I thought, I don't know where this sticker went. It's, it's somewhere in there, but there's a different colors too. You can get it on white and some other things. All right, folks. So that's the recap. Tons more content coming your way. Thank you so much for all the love and support you've been sharing me. It is much appreciated. Uh, live stream at th on Thursday. Also, stand-up comedy show Monday in Hollywood. You're going to want to be there 7.30 p.m. September 20th. Let me know if you guys are going to be able to come. Reach out to my Instagram at dneals, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye now.